I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe. That's just how it goes, cause I like to yo what is up guys surgical goblin here and welcome to this new episode as you guys can see i'm in a clan with team the aaron a best of five uh so the best of five is whoever gets three wins first he is the winner of the ccas i believe so the asian crown championship i will be playing a minor control and i will show his profile real quick so as you guys can see pretty good player even on leather he finished 136 in the world one time and he's just a really solid player as you guys can see um, and as you guys know he requested I will wish him good luck so let's wish him the good luck and hopefully we're able to win the best of five of course because I win uh, or I won the, uh, the spring champion of Europe versus the Chinese or the Asian I mean I believe he's a Chinese player I'm not sure correct me if I'm wrong but I think it's a Chinese player so I wish him the good luck let's see if he's ready if not I might have to mess him or I will edit it out but looks like we are in a match already so let's give him the good luck and um, or let's give him the thumbs up and the good luck. He gives us the thumbs up and let's see what he's playing. He has quite uh, a lot of spectators. Maybe he has Facebook or something on. 12 spectators already. Uh, looks like he will start off with the ice golem. We will drop an electro wizard into the same lane. I'll have my mini pack ready in case he drops something. Looks like he fireballs. Maybe it's something like expo. Let's actually drop an ice golem to tank and send in a miner to chip away. Let's see if he has anything to uh, to zap. Maybe like bats or something. Ice golem is tanking. Miner is there. He has the cannon card. Wow. Interesting. I'll drop in my mini pack and I'm not sure um, what deck he has. he has. So he has cannon card. I'll drop my bats over here just to help kill the cannon card. And looks like they are locked on the ice column and the cannon card will die to the mini pekka. There you go. So the cannon card will just stay there and it will eventually die. So no need to place any troops near it. Um, I will drop a bandit in the back just to be able to not or just to make sure I'm not leaking any elixir. And let's see. Interesting deck by him. I will drop my ice column on top of it I think. Just because I don't... Wow, he has mirror. Really interesting. Cannon card, mirror deck. I will poison right here to kill the um, Ewis. And I will zap to retarget the tower. Looks like he did drop his cannon card. So the cannon card only needs to um, get damaged a little bit by the bats. And then it should be able to die. So let's see. The cannon card, there you go. The cannon card died. And maybe some bats will turn around. Doesn't look like it. So we will take the full miner. But we're dealing a lot of damage. So we're, we can just take that miner. We will still be leading an elixir. So let's see, I don't really know what his win condition is, I guess minor chip damage, mirror fireball, interesting deck with the cannon card, electro wizard, and look at the spectators, all, for, all, or all the spectators are cheering for him, I guess he has um, his Facebook on, maybe his friend link could be possible as well, so again send in a miner, and wow he has a main horde, interesting, I have my zap, I'll actually zap right here, a little bit late with the zap, I could have zapped a little bit earlier, I didn't know the ice golem would damage them, and I will send in a mini pack up preemptively, knowing that he will probably have his miner coming this way and a bandit. Let's see. Doesn't look like it. Well played by him. Uh, he's he's pretty passive so far. So let's poison and let's drop bats over here, knowing that he has the miner going there. So the bats will take it out. The bandit will actually dash on top of the cannon card. And let's zap his main horde and the tower just to damage them, just to be able to... Um, just to be able to get some damage and kill the, uh, the means almost. The ice column to distract the electro wizard. Uh, I will drop a poison on top of his cannon card. I will drop bats and I will have my mini pack ready for his miner. Looks like the, the cannon card again is out of range. So the, the cannon card is pretty easy to stop most of the times. We'll have another miner. Let's see if he has an electro wizard. Looks like he will go with a main horde. So we zap that. Let's actually poison right here. 11 seconds left. I think we got this game. I will drop a, um, an ice column for his electro wizard. Bets for his miner. Doesn't look like he will throw it. So the first game we win. Let's give him the good game. Well played. And a thumbs up. Really interesting deck by him. Mirror, minion horde, fireball. Maybe he expected me to use three muskies or something. I don't know what this deck is. Really interesting by him. But let's, let's give him the good game. And let's see what we want to use the second game. So um, the first match. Like I don't think he will use this again. Interesting. Like really unique deck. And I think I want to switch decks. I'm not sure which deck yet. Maybe a Hawk Rider deck. This Hawk Rider deck is pretty solid. Um, by the way, it, it doesn't have any legendaries in it. I will try this deck, by the way, for the 20 win challenge. Maybe, but not sure yet. Maybe I will make a different deck. But I think I will play this deck. I think it's pretty solid. Also versus beatdown decks, which uh, Aaron likes. Aaron really likes, or most of the Asian players really like beatdown decks. So I think this uh, should be a solid deck. And let's see. So I think I will just... Uh, request let's give him the good luck again maybe i'll switch up the arena let's go in the jungle arena just to um switch things up 
And let's see if he wants to, uh, or let's see if he's ready. Let's see if he decides to switch decks, I mean, or he decides to go with the same deck. Even if he goes with the same deck, I think we should be able to win the matchup because we have Zep Hawk Rider Cycle deck with the Lightning. But let's see what he decides to use. I expect a beatdown deck right now. As I said, many Asian players like beatdown decks. But let's see what he uses. Let's give him the good luck and the thumbs up. And let's see what his opening move will be. I think I will just start off with the Ice Spirit in the back. And let's see what he uses. So, um, looks like he will not drop anything. I will just drop an Ice Golem in the back. And let's see if he decides to go anything right now. Looks like he's still waiting. Oh, he will drop his Electro Wizard. I will go with a Mega Main into the same lane. Knowing that his Electro Wizard will probably target onto my Ice Golem. Uh, let's see. I don't want to leak Elixir, but I don't really have a good move besides waiting for the Hawk Rider. Let's send in a Hawk Rider right now. And let's zap over here. Uh, hopefully we got that in time so it looks like the better end will connect so that was unfortunate timing on our part but look at the hawk rider the hawk rider is dealing so much damage guys while wow, look at the hawk rider the mega man might even get one hit maybe two hits and wow that's so much damage i will lightning his musketeers on that side hitting the tower as well and now we only have to worry about the left side musketeer maybe he will support it he doesn't have the better in cycle so pretty good start for us. I would just drop an ice golem to the side, knowing that it will um like it will be in range of the tower, so the tower can easily kill it. And the ice golem will not die, I believe. No, it will not die, but it will die to the tower eventually. So it looks like he's going for a collector. I will go with uh Hawk Rider and Goblins. I think he has Electro Wizard. Yeah, there you go. So I'll drop the Ice Spirit, knowing that the goblin will stay alive. Now we have one goblin on the tower with the Hawk Rider. Should be able to finish off the tower actually, or almost. Uh, 74 HP, so that's almost tower, and we're looking really good. He's giving the angry face. We're able to punish that collector really well. And now I think it's the, uh, the key is to not get 3 crowned. I think our defense can be really solid, but if he has so much elixir, maybe he will uh, be able to build up a really strong push. I'll have my lightning ready in case he goes with 3 musketeers. Maybe even here, uh, I'm not sure yet. I will zap. I will zap the bats just to be able to uh, keep my elixir away, I guess. And I think he will have the better ramp, but while we were in time, I did miss one uh, musketeer. Poor placement, but I just wanted to make sure we didn't hit the P.E.K.K.A. I think I could have better hit the P.E.K.K.A. But it doesn't matter anyways. We do uh, defend really nice. I will send in Hawk Rider to the left side. Ice Spirit to the right side. The Ice Spirit will take down the right side tower. Hawk Rider should be able to finish off the left side tower. And we're looking really good, guys. Uh, 36 seconds left. And let's see, I will zap right here. I will go with Ice Golem and Goblins just to be able to kill the uh, Electro Wizard and to distract over there. I will have my Lightning right now. Let's see if he has a better ram. Uh, looks like he doesn't have the better ram. And wow, what a game. I think he had a really, really expensive deck because he wasn't able to like cycle collectors really quick. And let's go with Hawk Rider. Let's go with Ice Spirit, Mega Man. But it's over anyways. I think it's a good game. I'm not sure if he will even try to defend that. No, he will not try to defend that. So maybe even three crowns. I think we can get a lightning in there. So let's give him the good game. Well played and thumbs up. Interesting deck by him. Again, really uh, unique deck. I've never seen this before, I think, in the meta. Of course, I've seen True Musk, um, but with heal spell. Actually, he had heal spell as well. And poison. Wow, really interesting deck. As I said, they really like, like heavy beatdown decks. And this is a great example of it. But I guess he wasn't ready for the lightning. He says, lol, oh my god. Let's give him the good game. I guess he didn't expect it. Maybe they don't have like these cycle decks. Maybe in the Asian like competitive scene, I guess. So that's also really interesting to see. Like the difference between those. I guess they um, this deck really hard counters golem decks, for example. His deck. But not the, the quick cycle. I think I'll switch back to minor poison. Let's see if we can uh, secure the 3-0. If not, I could always switch to a different deck. But I think minor poison is one of my um, safest and favorite decks. So let's give him the uh, thumbs up and a good luck. And let's see what he uh, starts. So it looks like we don't have um, a good starting hand. I don't have the ice column to tank right now. I will zap right here. And hopefully we're able to get in the minor. Because we don't have too much elixir. Here's the Night Witch. And the Night Witch got nerfed. That's so interesting. Looks like the Bennett actually went for the Collector. But we still send in the Miner. Just to make sure uh, the Collector doesn't get too much value. And right now I will have my bets for his Lumberjacks. But I, I'm waiting for his bets to die. So one bet did took out one bet of ours. But four bets on the Lumberjack. Was able to, uh, to finish it off quite easy. And looks like he's using his Golem deck right now. Or un -Golem deck. I'm not sure what his last cards are. Night Witch, Lumberjack. Um... Bets, there you go, there is his golem. So I will go with a bandit on the other side. I have my zap ready in case he has bets again. I don't think he has them in cycle, but let's see. 
Let's see if he decides to... Yeah, there you go. He sacrifices his tower. Let's see if we are able to defend this push right now. Or if he's able to break through our defense. We have the mini P.E.K.K.A. of course. I have my poison ready. And let's see if he decides to... Yeah, there you go. There is his bet. So I have my Zap ready for that. I will defensive poison right now. And hopefully we're able to defend that quite nice. The mini P.E.K.K.A. turns around uh, and kills the Night Witch. And I will drop my Electro Wizard to kill the Baby Dragon. Or at least retarget the Baby Dragon. And looks like he will come to his de or our defense quite nice by sending in the Lumberjack. And uh, really well played by him. Look at the damage we dealt on the King Tower. And I think that might be able to um, go for a 3 crown. Like if he goes with Golem, we can punish him. But I feel like we're so low on Elixir right now. We spent a lot to defend that. So I think he will go with another Golem right now. Let's see if he decides to go um, with the Golem. And I'm not sure if in this situation if we should race for the 3 crowns. Or if we should uh, try to defend and then counter push. Interesting situation. I send in a miner to the collector. We have a zap for his bets. The bandit is slowly damaging the king tower. And I'm thinking about going for the street ground. Let's see if he goes with a golem in the middle. He actually goes with a golem in this lane. So I guess it's better to uh, try to counter push. I'm not sure. Like I've, I've never been in this situation. Just because I always try to uh, punish. But right now I want to go for the street ground. So I'm not sure what, what is the best to do I guess. But let's see, looks like he goes with a lightning, so he doesn't have the lightning uh, for offense now. And we are cycling really quick, so we have the mini P.E.K.K.A. And I will zap over here, I will just zap the, the Night Witch, the, the bats, etc. And looks like we are able to defend that quite nice. I will, I will put in bats behind the Baby Dragon, knowing that the Baby Dragon will be busy. Of course, the Electro Wizard does retarget it. And let's go with the Ice Golem right now. Let's go with a Poison as well. And I think he will Lightning this. Pretty good Lightning over here. But let's see what he does. He actually decides to arrow it. And looks like the Mini P.E.K.K.A. will hit the Lumberjack. So let's zap over there. And while we're slowly chipping away. Um, I think we can uh, 3 count. But let's see what he will do. So he will go with a Golem in the middle. Quite aggressive. And let's see if we are able. Yeah, there you go. We are able to kill the Lumberjack. The Mini P.E.K.K.A. etc. Should be able to finish that off quite nice. We have the Ice Golem to distract the Night Witch. And wow, guys, pretty intense defense, but I think we got it right here. I zapped his bats, and let's see what he will drop right now. I will go in with a bandit. I will go in with a miner, and I think I will poison whatever he drops right here. So he drops the lumberjack. We hit the baby dragon as well, and the mini pack is still alive, but it did die to his um, it did die to his baby dragon. And let's see what we want to do right now. So I will have the electro wizard for his bats, and it looks like we just need a zap and uh, poison over there. I'm not sure. I will send in. Wow, he did. Ooh, hopefully it's... No, it's it didn't retarget and he got it. Wow, what a game. Good game for sure. Good game, well played. And thumbs up. We just needed to send in the miner. And we just needed to uh, poison or zap maybe. But he got a really nice lightning. I played my bandit into his lightning. I tried to retarget zap over there. But um, unfortunately, it didn't target onto his ice column or onto our ice column. So his baby dragon was able to deal damage to the tower. Definitely good game. Really good game. Well played by Team D Aaron. So it's 2-1 right now. And I'm not sure what to play. I think I will go with the same deck. Maybe uh, going for three crowns was a little bit too greedy. Maybe I should have just went for the two crowns. Especially him going into the same lane as the three crowns. And I think I will just use this deck one more time. If we lose right now, of course, I will switch. If not, it's over because we just need one more game. He says close. It definitely was really close. Unfortunately, we weren't able to quite get it. So as I said, well played by him. And let's see. So 2-1 right now. I'm going with the same minor control deck. And let's see if he decides to bump up. This time we do have minor in cycle. And let's see what he does. So it looks like he's waiting, same as us, I'm just waiting as well. I don't really uh, want to go with a mini P.E.K.K.A. and having a Hawk Rider on this side of, or something like that. So I'm just waiting right now and let's see. I think I would just drop a mini P.E.K.K.A. in the back. Um, just because I know like beatdown decks can really be dangerous in double elixir. And wow, he has Dark Prince, really interesting decks. Like his decks are so crazy, I really like that. I hope you guys like that as well. So the mini P.E.K.K.A. will be able to one shot the shield, but not quite uh, the Dark Prince. Maybe with the help of the tower and the bandit dash, the Dark Prince will die. There you go, the Dark Prince dies. We should not leak, so let's drop the Electro Wizard. Um, and it looks like he's using a Golem deck again. So I will drop my Ice Golem to tank for the Lumberjack and eventually also tank for the Baby Dragon. I will have my Miner right here uh, going with a counter push with the Electro Wizard. And I will send him bets to support it. Let's see if he has Zep or Arrows. Looks like he will go uh, with a Collector. Interesting decision. I will go with a, a Mini P.E.K.K.A. And I will support it with the Bandit. Just because I know he's really low on Elixir. 
So hopefully we're able to deal quite some damage over there. Looks like we are able to deal quite some damage over there. But of course he has a really big advantage right now. And I'm going to eat this Dark Prince because otherwise we would fall behind too much. And right now it's really key to defend his pushes really well because he has such a big elixir advantage. So let's see. Uh, I, I was kind of forced to eat uh, the damage I guess just because he had such a el uh, big el elixir lead I mean. And let's see, I will go with the Ice Golem to um, pressure, like force him to defend both lanes. And maybe I will send in a Miner as well. I don't think so. I don't really want to overcommit. I have my Zep ready uh, in case he drops bets. I will drop my Mini Pekka defensive. And he looks like he's going for a big push this time. I will Zep over here. Hopefully he doesn't have like arrows or something. <coughs> I can't, I'm kind of losing my voice, but wow, he has a clone. Crazy deck by him. He also tornadoes everything, but we we're able, we we're still able to defend that quite nice. Really interesting deck by him. He has clone spell uh, with dark prince. Wow, that's crazy. Like the splash damage, I guess. Let's go with mini Pekka. Let's go. The bandit actually dashed on top of the tower. I will zap over here and I will try to cycle to another mini Pekka. But I think this is GG because there's only 20 seconds left. And no way he will take three crowns or two towers. So I just need to make sure I defend the left uh, left side as well. Um, and I think it's GG. Like the Electro Wizard is helping a lot. He will not take the three crowns for sure. Ten seconds left. We have the mini Pekka there. I can zap his, his bets. And crazy deck by him. I have Ice Column to distract. And definitely good game. Well played and thumbs up. And the reason why I played this deck is because I knew it has solid defense. And I know he is he likes beatdown deck. So let's say I would have played uh, Hawk Rider with Inferno Tower. Maybe it would have been really difficult to um, defend something like the clone spell. Because I only have lightning in that deck. So I think this was a pretty good deck pick. Crazy deck by him. Here's the deck. So definitely GG's to him. Thanks for uh, coming. So definitely GG's to Team The Aaron. I will leave his YouTube channel in the description. I'm not sure if he has a Twitter. If I can find it, I will put that as well. So definitely make sure to check out his uh, channel and maybe Twitter. Let's see if I can find it. It says GG well played. Again, thanks or uh, shout out to Aaron, I mean, for playing this. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you have a suggestion uh, for who I should face next, like a top player, it could be from China, it could be from Europe or whatever. Just let me know in the comments and I hope to see one of my next videos. Bye guys. <laughs>